All right, so in this video, I'm going to go over my personal PvE build for KFM. Currently, I'm Hongmoon level 10. Uh, with this build, I have lots of AoE skills, so I can handle groups of mobs with ease, but I can still maintain high DPS on single targets. Uh, there's a lot of survivability because uh, there's multiple ways for me to regain life. Uh, the only downside that it's it's uh, it's a non-threat build. There's no threat built into it. Uh, another thing too is that it is a typical 2RF rotation, and I did spec into a lot of skills that either uh, proc searing palm or reduce the cooldown of it. That way, I can keep keep using it. So I'll go over the skills and why I put the points where I did. So for your first tab, you're sucking wind. I went down stage one. Uh, this allows you just to escape from uh, grapples, grab, or phantom grip. Um, I find that there's quite a few mobs that do that, so this will help you break out of it. Plus you'll get 5% of your HP back when you do that. I mean, you could spec into days if you wanted to. It's up to you. Um, I wouldn't spec into stage two because it doesn't knock back. So it'll knock the mob away from you, and then you'll have to re-engage the mob again. Uh, fighting spirit, crucial very crucial uh, stage four if you're going solo stage three for party uh, for flying slam I went with sp uh, stage three it does the most damage uh, it, la it launches the uh, targets into the air as well uh, it's got the largest area but it also has the longest cooldown uh, for the F uh, smite I went to stage four it readies hellfire kick and searing palm on hit Whereas these other skills do not. And F, uh, Searing Blow. I did stage 3 for that. It uh, decreases your cooldown of Searing Palm by, five, uh, by 7 seconds. And Focus Recovery of 5. For Iron Shoulder, I went down stage 2. So again, this readies Hellfire and Kick again. Uh, you get your Focus back if you do get a crit on it. And it decreases the cooldown of Searing Palm by 4 seconds, and Charmer by 3 seconds. Uh, for your Q&E, uh, it's vital. You definitely have to have that. This is a must-have. You have to have 3 points into this. There's no question about it. Uh, for your 1 counter, uh, I do have my Hong Moon counter. So, anyway, I went into this because it absorbs 50% of damage as HP. And then if you have your Hong Moon, then it also resists uh, damage, or resists stun and, and daze for two seconds. And it also decreases the cooldown of Searing Palm by one second. Uh, for your Zed, uh, Rising Dragon, I went down stage two. So this absorbs 10% of damage as HP, also stuns. Um, I, didn't, I didn't go down stage one because stage one, uh, it causes a knockdown. So once again, that will push all the mobs away from you, and you don't want to do that. Um, as well, if you um, activate Fighting Spirit, and during that duration, if you hit uh, something with uh, this uh, Rising Dragon, you'll get a ton of HP recovered. Probably like, I think, 5 or 6k, depending on how much damage you do. Uh, for my 2, I went down to stage 4. So this readies Hellfire Kick again, and also absorbs 10% of damage as, as health. And once again, if you pair this with Fighting Spirit, you get lots of health recovered. Uh, your X, uh, the main thing about this, it's, it's the main part of this build, your Searing Palm. You have to go down Stage 1 in order to get stacks of like 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, stage 2 is PvP, so that won't work. Um, for my three leg sweep, I just put a point in here for shits and giggles because I didn't really have a point to put anywhere else. Uh, for your C, for your fleary, uh, fury, or flurry, I uh, went down stage one. So it's an approach skill. It does resist damage and status effects for 0.8 seconds, where these other skills do not, or these other stages do not. So if you time it correctly, it'll count as an iframe, and that will proc um, searing palm. And also, it also proc uh, triple kick as well. Uh, for my four comic strike, I went down stage three. 
Uh, I also have the Hong Moon skill for this. So it, it allows me to uh, cast instantly upon critical hit and also recovers my uh, focus upon, rec rec upon critical hit. So basically, I could just spam this non-stop if I'm pairing it with uh, Fighting Spirit, as you notice here. It says cooldown of move 1 and move 3 of Comic Strike resets every 2 seconds. So when they say move, they mean as of the stage. So stage 1 and 3. But I like stage 3 better than stage 1 as, uh, well, you just can't spam as much in stage 1 versus as you can with 3. Uh, for my V, Tremor, I went down stage 2. So this pulls uh, enemies towards you. And plus it uh, re recovers your focus as well. For your LMB, I went down stage 1. So every time I hit, I get... Uh, additional uh, focus back if it's a critical hit and it also stacks my critical bonus up to 10 times so since pretty much the name of this game is to get as much critical as you can um, that's, that's, it's really good to get this whereas stage 3 yeah it does absorb 5% damage as HP but I mean 5% it's not a lot plus your LMB doesn't do that much anyway uh, for your your right mouse button Avenging Fist, I went down stage 3. Um, so this is another move you can use to approach uh, your, your target. Um, it does ready Searing Palm upon critical hit. So stage 1 and uh, 2 will also do that as well. But the nice thing with this stage is that the cooldown is the lowest. So 9 seconds versus 18 and 30 seconds. And this stage 1 is PvP anyway. And plus it gives you a focus recovery of 3. Uh, for your triple kick, I went down stage 2. Uh, stage 2 is an area effect. Uh, it's a, it gives you the most damage, plus it recovers your focus. And then that's it for the skills. So now I'll show you the highlights of uh, some abilities that you can do with this build. Alright, so you saw there, I, I used my, um, my, flying, my flying slam to start with, so I knocked everything into the air, and then I pulled them all together with Tremor, that way they're all in one uh, tiny spot, hit them twice with Comic Strike, and then I used my Leg Sweep to just CC them again, just so they don't have a chance to hit me, and then with my, uh, with my two Tiger Strike, because I hit them uh, with that, it procs my Hellfire Kick, so I was able to finish them up with that, and then just clean it up afterwards. Um, I'll show you guys my uh, spam with number 4, if I have uh, Fighting Spirit ready. And then as well, uh, show you guys a bunch of skills I can use to ready uh, Searing prom, Palm. So critting that gets you that, that too. Four. There we go. So basically, my X leading palm procs it. So does my avenging fist if I get a critical on that. Hellfire kick will also proc it as well. And then my smite as well. Um, in addition, if you also. Uh, get an iframe on your flurry that will also proc it and same with your your Q and E and your SS that will proc your uh, searing palm as well so anyway that about wraps up my build uh, so personally this is what works for me uh, this is the rotation I like to use um, I mean you're welcome to use it try it out Maybe you have a different variation of it. Maybe you don't like it at all. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Feel free to ask me about anything about this build. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that helped.